This young chokecherry shrub is doing something very strange. The top of the plant is crawling with ants, and what they're after blew my mind. Do you see these little bumps or nodes growing along the stem of the leaf? Some of them are secreting tiny droplets of sap, which the ants are drinking. This immediately reminded me of aphids. They kind of even look like aphids, with that bulbous teardrop shape and that bright color which stands out against the darker stem. Aphids are tiny little insects with a mouth part like a straw. And kind of like a mosquito, they'll poke into a plant and drink its sap. And they often form a symbiotic relationship with ants, where the ants will provide the aphids protection, and the aphids will secrete a sugary liquid called honeydew that the ants will drink. They absolutely love it. Ants are even known to farm aphids, moving them from an infested plant to a new plant so they can have a new food source. It's secreting these droplets very slowly. It provides just enough food for a few ants, but it keeps them busy enough so that they don't leave and bring aphids over. I couldn't find any information about this in my plant identification books or anywhere on the internet. But my theory is this plant is mimicking an aphid infestation to prevent a real aphid infestation. Aphids can reproduce really fast. They essentially clone themselves and the growth can be exponential overwhelming a plant and literally sapping it dry. It gives the ants just enough sap so that they stay busy and think the plant already has aphids on it. We even have some aphids nearby on this brown-eyed Susan. You can see them all along the stem here. And our choke cherry is just right over here. Just a little ways up the trail, I found another plant that's just starting to grow nodes. And this one has a little red ant patiently waiting for his sap. And younger plants like this will often have a slightly different appearance than when they're fully grown. The leaves are usually much larger to just collect as much sun as possible to try to grow really quickly. And apparently they can have unique adaptations like this, growing these nodes because I've never seen this before. It was a little tricky to identify. I even used one of those plant ID apps where you take a photo of a leaf. Choke cherry is a shrub and it can get about 20 or 30 feet tall, which is pretty big for a shrub or about the size of a small tree. And the flowers grow in these long clusters and those will turn into fruit which hang down on these little strings and kind of remind me of charm bracelets. And the fruit is the only edible part of the plant. But as the name suggests, the berries are kind of sour and astringent. They'll give you that dry, chalky feeling at the back of the throat, which can kind of make you cough, hence the name choke cherry. So they don't make a great snack, but they are often used in making jam and wine. But isn't that just an amazing adaptation? Mimicking an aphid infestation? I just think that is incredible. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments or with a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.